All right, hello guys, and welcome to another video on the channel Mindset Hustle. And in today's video, I'm going to walk you through one of the best strategies to use for trading boom and crash. Okay, a very simple strategy that you can use to trade boom and crash on a consistent base. Okay, this strategy is going to be based on the one hour time frame for analysis and the 15 minute time frame for entry. So we are going to deal with this very, very fast. But if this is your first time here on the channel, do us a favor and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the bell notification icon as this will help us to, uh, to reach other people also like this video and share it on other channels is free of charge. If you are not part of our Telegram group, the link is in the description of this video. That is the arena of money. We teach everything, making money online. So do well to join that channel and stay tuned for more updates and video on the channel. So now let's dive into the video. All right, so as I said, we are going to be looking at the strategy, very simple one using uh, some two indicators. You can use this on phone and you can also use it on laptop. So I'll demonstrate the two. I'll start with the phone and then we'll look at it uh, on the laptop, how you can do it on the laptop that is your machine. So guys, do not skip this video. Watch it step by step and implement it. So guys, I can teach you everything here, but if you don't implement it, you will not succeed with the strategy. So do well to implement the strategy. Do well to implement the strategy. All right. So uh, first of all, let's go and open our boom or crash any of them. Since this strategy is mainly focusing on boom and odd crash pairs. Okay, so let's use crash thousand to start with. Sorry, let's start with crash thousand. So here we are on the crash thousand asset. Okay, so now as I said, we are going to be using two indicators. So we are I'm going to show you how you can add these indicators. As you can see, I've cleared everything from my chart. And I, we are now going to, uh, to add everything step by step. So follow me, okay, as I, uh, I walk you through. So the first thing you need to do is to add the first indicator called the RSI, okay? So you click on this symbol, the symbol at the top here, that looks like an F, okay? You are going to click on that symbol, all right? So we click on that and then it's going to bring us to this session where they say main chart okay so you can see this symbol at the top here that looks like um an f with the plus okay where i've circle at the top there you are going to click on that symbol okay so we we'll click on that as you can see and it's going to bring us to this indicator windows okay where we are going to select our RSI. So you scroll down, okay, to um the indicator session called oscillators. Okay, so we scroll down towards oscillators. All right, over here, this session, and then you look for relative strength index. Okay, you look for this guy, relative strength index RSI. So if this, if you are a beginner, then Follow me step by step. If you are already familiar with the Meta Trader Hot 5, then you don't have a problem. You should be able to locate where the RSI is. All right. So we are going to click on the RSI. So that should bring us to this session. Okay. Or that should bring us to this window where you see parameters, uh, where we have the period, the apply to close style, and the levels, and so on. So we are going to change only one thing here, okay? We are going to change only one thing here. That is the levels, okay? And we are going to use different levels in this particular 
particular uh, strategy. So the period is still 14, applied to should be close. And then the style, make it um, uh, three pixels. Okay, you can choose any color, but I'm going with black. Okay, you can choose any color. Then the levels is the most important thing. So I'm going to choose my levels. Okay, I'm not going to use 30. I'm going to use um, 12 and also uh, five, okay? Going to use 12 and five for the support level. Then I'm going to use 85 and 95. So 85 and 95, okay? For my resistance level on the RSI, all right? So that is what we are going to uh, do. So here you can choose black. Okay, so here where they say style, okay, where they say style, uh, just choose white. If your background is white, choose white for that because we don't want the RSI oscillator, okay? We only want the resistance and the support level of the RSI. So that is what we are looking at. Just that. Then when they say time frame, make sure you select all time frame because we want the indicator to appear on all time frame. But we are only going to use it on two time frame. We are going to use the H1 for analysis, and then we are going to use the M15 for entry. Now this is a scalping strategy. Okay, you are going to use it to to scalp the uh boom and the crash, whether spike, whether uh direction. Okay. So now once you are done with all that, you now click on uh, done, okay? You click on done at the top corner here where I've circled, okay? So done. As you can see, it has been written the indicator window or window one. Now let's go back to our chart and see something. So you can see that at first this lower session here where we have RSI 14, with the 95 level, 85 level, and the 12 and 5 level was not previously on my chart. My chart was just full of what the candlesticks, but now you can see that it has been added to the chart. Okay. Now we want to now add our alligator okay, because that is the main distance that we are going to use in doing our trading. Okay. That is the main indicator that we are going to use in order in doing our trading. Okay. So now you we'll go back to the F symbol at the top, as I showed you previously. It brings us back to this indicator uh, chart level, okay? Now, when they say indicator window one is where we are going to add the alligator. Okay, so you click on the F plus sign that is on this session, not the upper one, this one, the one I've circled, that's what we are going to call it. Click on, okay? So you click on that. And then we are looking for the alligator, uh, the alligator indicator, which is uh, normally under Bill Williams, okay, because it's an indicator that was developed by Bill Williams. So you look for Bill Williams, I think you should scroll down, should scroll down. So this, this is, uh, oh, sorry. Scroll down. So you see Bill Williams, this guy, the one I've circled there. And then you look for alligator, the one I'm pointing the arrow to. All right, those, <clears throat> that is the indicator we are going to use in this uh, particular lesson. All right, so now when you click on the alligator, it will bring you down to what? To this. Uh, window okay to bring you to this window now follow the parameters okay you can screenshot them everything just as you see it 13 8 8 um 5 5 3 and the method is what smoothed apply to median uh median price hl slash two okay all time frame as well so you can leave the um colors 
as they are, okay, for the jaw, the teeth, and then the um, lip style, all right? And then the time frame too should be off. Once you are done, just click on done. Okay, so as you can see, it has also been added. So you can go back here, and then you can see that this guy is now showing on what? On the chat. Now, now, listen to this, okay? Listen to this before I start everything. Take notice of what I'm going to say. My signal, my signal line is the green line, okay? The green line here, this one at the top here is my signal line. That is what tells me when to buy or when to sell, all right? I don't do anything if the green line is not where I want it to be. So it's a rule-based trading. We don't obey the rules. You are not going to get the results. So that is one thing you need to understand, okay? It's one thing you need to understand. Now, um, as I said, we are going to do our analysis on the higher time frame. And then we take our trades on the lower time frame. Now, this strategy doesn't work for a ranging market. It works for a trending market. So you should make sure that you are in a trending market before you want to use this strategy. As it stands right now, you can see that the market is ranging. The indicator is telling you the market is ranging. So you stay away from the market. Okay. And you can see from the candles that the market is, uh, is ranging. But now uh, let's start. So as I said, we use H1 for our analysis. Okay. And then we use what we use um uh, m15 for our entry okay so i'm changing the time frame to what h1 okay good so as you can see uh on h1 we can see that we are not we are in a downtrend uh the indicator and the charts are all uh, showing us that we are not we are in a downtrend you can squeeze the chart sometimes just to see the bigger picture, or you can leave it at this level like this, and then you can still see the bigger picture, okay? Now, we are going to now, once we see, listen well, when we see alignment on both H1 and M15, that is when we are going to take our trade, okay? When I say alignment, it means if H1 is on downtrend, M15 will also be on a downtrend. Then now, remember I said our green line is the signal line, okay? So always for us to sell, okay? For us to sell, we have to make sure that the green line is in between 85 and 95 on the 15 minutes, on the 15 minutes. This thing work on the 15 minutes. Now, before we decide that, you should make sure that on the H1, the green, that is the signal line, has touched and bypassed the 85 level a little. Once it has done that, so for instance, let's say here, when price, let's say when price, uh, touched this level, okay? So he uh, when it touched 85th level here, it means you should get ready. So H1 is telling you that you should get ready for a reversal because we are hitting the resistance level. So we are about to what? To sell, all right? We are about to what? To sell. Now, once that happened, the next thing you will now do is to go onto your 15 minute chart. Okay, you go to the 15 minute chart. So we move to the 15 minute chart. So this was the area. Then what you now do is that you let the 15 minutes, the green, listen, the green line, okay, on the 15 minute should be between 85th and what and 95th level. This is for selling. 
this is the rule for selling. It should be between what? 85th and what? 95th resistance limit on the RSI level. Okay. Now, once you're able to get that, once you're able to get that, the next thing you need to do is to now wait. Okay. Is to now wait for the green, this thing here. You wait for the green signal line to cross the red signal line on the 85. So it means the green one went in between or even touched the 95th and on its reverse now crosses the road, the red signal line, okay? That is when you are hot, you are taking your entry. That is when you are taking your entry. Remember, we are not on one minute. We are not on two minutes. We are not on five minutes. We are taking this trade on 15 minutes. Yes, there'll be drawdowns. But then at the end of the day, the market is going to move in your direction. Because one, H1 is aligning with what your M15 is aligning with what your H1. Your M15 is what is aligning with your, your H1. And you can see that after that, you can see how market went down. Okay, there was a little pullback. And then market begin to what to fall. So market was touch here. So you can take profit once market gets close to your 12 level. Once market gets close to your 12 level, you move out. All right. Now you wait again for a new opportunity. Now, don't say because 15 minutes has gotten to what has gotten to the down level here, so you start buying. No, you have to what? To wait to make sure that H1 is also saying the same thing. Otherwise, you see, H1 will not be saying the same thing and you'll be what? You'll be buying and at the end of the day, you end up what? Losing, okay? Now, for instance, over here, you see currently where H1 is at if we go on to the 15 minutes you realize that 15 minutes is also in the same consolidation or period are you getting it h1 is telling us that the market is sort is selling downwards and m15 is also telling us that the market is about to what is about to go up but at the same time you can see if we are to even use what we call the trend line, you can see that this market is telling us that we are still at the odd, at the, uh, without a downtrend, both on the chart and not on the indicator. Okay, you can see that both on the chart and on the indicator, we are still odd, moving down because we are forming lows in the odd, series of lower highs in the odd, in the market. Okay, that is the technical part. If you know the two, and you'll be able to what you'll be able to even conquer the market uh more. All right, good. Now to buy, to buy, okay, to buy also you what you wait. So for instance, we sold from this area after the green on the 15 minutes, it gets to what it gets to our uh support level, and you can see again that here. How do we see the lower session here is between what the 12 and the 5? And then later on it crossed the odd, the red signal line. So it means we are ready to, what, to take our odd buy in this situation. So as you can see, there is what, an alignment here. So you take what you take your buy, and then you see that market dot rise. Okay. All right, now, as I said, this is just a scalping method. So this is how you would, you buy or sell using the alligator indicator. Let's uh, use uh, this boom 1000. Let's see, let's check boom 1000. So here, yeah, let's first go to our H1. Then we check. Check from our H1, as you can see, our H1 is down here, okay? 
the lower session, it has even crossed over. So we go to our 15 minutes. So you can see our 15 minute also now has aligned with H1 over here. You, your entry will be here. So that gives you what the spike from this session here. Okay, this is the alignment here. So you take your buy from here. Take your buy from this session, okay? And then you hold on tight. You use risk management, guys. Use risk management. You don't go and then boom, boom, boom. You enter the trade uh, anyhow. No. Use proper risk management. All right. So you can see we've gotten this number of what spikes. So this is about patient, being patient in the market. Okay, you have to be patient in the odds in the market. You must make sure that all the rules are out are, are met before you do what you take the trade. All right. So currently I wish uh I wish one of the this thing is aligning immediately so that I can go into a trade for you to see by five if you can see from here you can see that none of them is aligning currently you can see this is very far away from our support and our resistance let me check on boom 500 boom 500 the same let's see crash 500 crash 500 the same very far away uh, based on our odds alignment principle, this is very far away. Okay, so let's see uh, another. Uh, okay, crash crash one thousand was what we started with. Okay, okay, which is very far away from uh, what we we learned right now. So, guys, this is um. Uh, how this indicator work so the settings is the same for i wanted to make the laptop one but then that is going to make this video very long which i don't want so what you are going to do is you guys is the same settings and it's the same instructions that you use on the laptop but if you guys those of you using laptop if you are still finding difficulty uh using the strategy on the laptop just let me know and i will do a sample video for that also so guys i will see you in the next video stay blessed